Hello and welcome to another academic writing video. So in this video I'm going to talk about writing a summary and in particular looking at the cohesion. This is part one of two related videos. Okay, It's actually related to some of my students work so this is a kind of feedback for the uh, animation students from QUST. Um, but I think it's relevant to anybody studying academic writing. So the students were asked to write a summary of an article about Tom and Jerry, a famous uh, cartoon, Mouse and the Cat. So let's have a look. So this is what I originally received. I'm not going to say too much about this version. Um, it's pretty obvious, I think, from here. It's not really the right format. This is a... Uh, numerical list it's not really a summary uh, we I would ideally expect a summary to be written in paragraphs so uh, the first thing I did was change it into paragraphs so here's the paragraph version and this is one I'm going to comment on and correct in this video uh, so let's go through line at a time so first of all Tom and Terry please be careful everybody with names it's Jerry have been part of the backdrop to our lives. Our lives whose lives? Um, is this sentence really necessary for a summary? It's a nice introduction to an article for a magazine, maybe, or something like that. Um, but as a summary, probably we can get rid of that. But we'll move on. Last month, they celebrated their 28th anniversary last month wouldn't that depend on when you're reading this summary again perfectly acceptable for a newspaper or magazine report but not really relevant for a summary uh, and teaming up in a new animated movie with Willy Wonka and his chocolate factory notice that Willy Wonka is a name so that should be a capital W there we go and you can see the little red line that my computer <laughs> indicated there was an error there. With, um, it's gone now, right? It's, the computer's happy, I'm happy. All names must have a capital letter at the start of them in English. Okay, basically, this first paragraph can uh, be deleted. We don't need it. It's gone. It doesn't really tell us anything about the article particularly it was just uh, a kind of hook we might call it for uh, for the art the original article so it's not necessary in the summary so we we'll start here Hannah was an impressive and fast-working storyboarder Barbara had an expertise for direction right before we have any of that I think we need to say something like this article is a summary of uh, Tom and Jerry, which was created by Hannah and Barbara. Now, notice without a sentence something like that. First of all, we don't know that it's about Tom and Jerry, so obviously we have to include that in, having deleted the previous paragraph. Um, but also, we need to know that it was created by Hannah and Barbara before you tell us who Hannah and Barbara are. Right? Uh, so this is what I'm talking about with cohesion. Okay, cohesion. You need to... You can't just introduce Hannah was an impressive, fast-working storyboarder, Barbara had an expertise in direction without telling me why you're talk telling me about Hannah and Barbara, right? You must do that before you introduce who they are and what they were doing. Okay. Hannah cooperated with Barbara. Their cooperation was not going well, but... Uh, okay, this is a punctuation or grammar problem, however you want to look at it. But... <clears throat> The project was approved by their boss. Now, you could argue that this bit isn't really necessary, 
the main thing is that they uh, they cooperated, right? Hannah cooperated with Barbara. In fact, I would change it to this. Hannah cooperated with Barbara and the project was approved by their boss. Which project? And the Tom and Jerry project was approved by their boss. Now, this is much better. Now, I mean, it could still be improved, but at least it makes sense. The cohesion is there, right? Um, I'll post up, along with this video, I'll post up uh, the original and my corrections so that you can see how I've changed it to make the cohesion work better. Let's look at this second paragraph. The cartoon features the playful rivalry between cat and mouse, with a weird bit of punctuation there. Right, that's a Chinese full stop, we don't want that, we want an English one, so we'll get rid of that. Put in the English one. Space. This score was the key to the t storytelling success of the animation. What score? This score. Now, to write this score here means that before this point, the score needs to have been mentioned. It hasn't been mentioned. Okay, so you can't use this score. Um, also, lots of people won't actually know what the score refers to. It's the music. So perhaps you could say, change this to the musical score was the key to the story selling success of the animation. The animation style cut no corners, we don't need that. Right, that's a detail and it doesn't really mean anything unless you're going to develop the idea, which you aren't going to do in a summary, so we'll just get rid of that. Tom looks a little cleaner in this episode. In which episode? Right, this is really confusing for the reader. So, musical scores, key to storytelling, success the animation. Tom, maybe we could change this to looked a little cleaner in later episodes, maybe? Later episodes. His outline is more refined and he is not quite so sinister looking. Okay, that'll, that'll do again. I mean, it could be improved, but... Uh, at least now there is some cohesion there. Okay, next paragraph. Tom and Jerry, uh, can you tell me what's wrong with this before I tell you? Yeah, that's right, it's a name. Names require capital letters. Tom and Jerry won an Oscar in 1943. With America at War, the short takes on a military theme. Okay. Uh, it could be seen as a campaign. Uh, the it isn't very good here. Okay, with America at War, the short takes on a military theme. It. Is that really it? Academic writing would prefer us to use this. This could be seen as a campaign. Could make it better as well. Add greater cohesion by linking this sentence to this one better by showing that it's a result by adding a word. This could therefore be seen as a campaign. Okay, so this and therefore work together to make this sentence link to this one, which is what cohesion is all about making the sentences link together better. And if the sentences link together better, then the ideas link together better, and uh, this was much easier for the reader to read your work. In 1955, Quimby left his role of producer. This did result in, we can make this easier. I guess this came from the original article. So it's probably written like this uh, for stylistic reasons but we can make it much clearer here. This resulted in a slight dip in the quality, unfortunately. These cartoons do very much feel of their time and there's a run on sentence here. So let's fix that. 
Okay. These cartoons do very much feel of their time and do not capture the essence of Hanna-Barbera. You can tell me what's wrong with this. That's right, it should be a capital letter. And it's actually Barbara. The plug was pulled on this version. Um, okay, again here we could make this link a little bit better by adding either another therefore the plug was pulled on this version or just a very easy so the plug was pulled on this version notice that this paragraph has a lot of, sort of idiomatic phrases in there really very much feel of their time it did not capture the essence of it the plug was pulled um, you could probably make that uh, you can reword it to make it a little bit easier for people who might not be familiar with those expressions. I think they're lifted directly from the uh, magazine article that the students were summarising. So, uh, yeah, please, if you understand it, do try to paraphrase some of the language to make it clearer. Uh, finally, these characters are developed into games. Finally, it's safe to, I think the finally probably could go at the start of the paragraph. Finally, these characters, like R is wrong, have been, that's just a tense thing, have been developed into games. Let's try making it just one sentence. And. It's safe to say the appeal of their cat and mouse antics. Whose? Whose cat and mouse antics? The characters. Okay. That's okay. We'll let that stand. The appeal of their cat and mouse antics endures. Okay. It's now fairly coherent. As I say, it could be better, and in part two, uh, I will look at a better summary, and we can look at the cohesion in that. But hopefully that's helped you understand a little bit of uh, how cohesion works and how cohesion can be improved in your writing. Okay.